Sorry, so it's small. a tiny unicorn. Well, well, mm, well, we did change the size. <laughs> There's an option to do full screen in that. As a launcher. Somewhere in the Alps. Oh, well, yeah, we can just do that. Oh, God. Yeah. So, Agent Gracefully, okay. you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say <laughs> my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a so hobby. Scary. Yeah. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Hawk. Junior's first James Bond. That's what it is, it's Junior's first spy game. Or in my case, like my 80th spy game. Yeah. Well. Bad guys? Got water? Just spit on it, or dunk it in and the And people sky. wonder why we're snarky little bitches nowadays. <laughs> the spy box? Yeah. He was our role model. You have 800 skis and you're rolling down the mountain. Where did they get those? Right? He's my favorite. I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps Headquarters. Okay guys, hello and welcome to the Vulcan Reapers. I am your West Coast host, Anihan. And I'm Common, and I just had my ears blown out. I wasn't expecting the loudness so suddenly. <laughs> now you know how I feel every day when you call. Yeah, but you know I'm gonna be loud. You are <laughs> loud. That's just like 100% unexpected. Well, as a child, I, I was actually even quieter. Um, but most children aren't. And today is Throwback Thursday, so I'm playing this game from Comet's childhood that I've never seen before. Yes. Um, Humongous Entertainment. Oh, Backyard Sports Games, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, and of course my favorite, Spy Fox. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a point and click, you said? Yeah. Okay. So anything... <laughs> Anything that's clickable, your mouse will turn white, and if you can't click oh, it, gotcha. it's it's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, that's the same one. He's dancing. Oh, burnt. <laughs> Okay, so for anything clickable, it might have um, multiple clicks to it to do different things. Mm-hmm. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Just one of the spikes, yeah. <laughs> Toast. It's, I see. It's a bucket of water. Yes. It's a bucket of water. I, I got that. Um, I've if you hover in the lower left hand Although corner, it should open your nice pockets. Getaway cottage, I've left, got to left. Get this I know, it's, it's in a cutscene thing. Oh. Hello? Or it's just not gonna show up? Hello? No, I remember having issues with it as a kid. Let's see, there we go. There it is, see, yeah. Here's where I keep yeah. my- Yeah! Here's where I keep my- Shut up. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated yes, because that's how skis work. <laughs> yep. You just slip your toes in them, and you're good to go. Don't fail me now. I don't need skis. I mean, 
You don't need anything else. No hand accoutrements. No straps. Nope, just hands in pockets and we you go. <laughs> Legit. I wonder which way I should go. Oh, I could either go by trees or by them. Let's go by them. Antagonize them. <laughs> I wonder which way I should go. Is he gonna catch me? Look out, bad If he takes you long, he will. Huh. <laughs> bunny slopes, bunny slopes. <laughs> oh, yes. Childhood. Nostalgia. Science proves playing games you enjoyed as children helps to relieve stress and brings you very much good enjoyment. Yes. And all I saw right there was the scene from The Lion King where the hyenas get like. Did you miss me, Chief? <laughs> so you've analyzed. You remember the when, when one of them gets knocked into about. the um, thorn pit of hell? It's doom. It's a I, I kind of remember, but I haven't seen it since I was like five. Evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. It's you fun! You can take these with you, spy box. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. So true. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey, Penny, and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Boing. Boing, 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 boing. Spybox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. Wow, her name. So it looks like we're on to something big. It's it, it's literally James Bond, yes, but like a fox. Smelly is up and to some children. monkey business, Monkey Penny, and it looks like I swear I said that at least once. Yeah, yeah I know, Black but just to get to the bottom wow. of it. <laughs> well, you <laughs> and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Five Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for Meaningless Evil, Larceny, Lying, and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Yes. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. Take them. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. Oh, the I'm spy sure vending machine. Some of them quite Such useful. good memories. Uh, now okay. I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. You know, I might just have to get the other one that I like of these. Uh, is this the vending machine? Oh, hi. Yeah. An alarm deactivated. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Oh, I wonder. Deactivating alarms. Well, it's used to turn off alarms. <gasps> you attach <laughs> It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds legit. I once printed these just, on exploding just paper. Those plans, dude. But man, did those cause heartburn. Okay, um, so how do I buy this stuff? Do I need to go on missions first? No. If you want it, you just push the button. The fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, <laughs> Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You- <laughs> Kinda creepy. Oh. You, just you push the button so you grabbed him. 
You can always just put them back if you just take it from your inventory and put it back into the vending machine. Okay, by the way, the game is glitching. What do you mean? Um, like, I didn't have my mouse, but when I did have my mouse, buttons started moving on their own. Like, I didn't oh, okay. actually click anything. That's it. <laughs> that sounds legit. It says World's Fair Entrance. Oh, it didn't even get delicious. It just instantly burnt up. That's no fair. Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Still, I like to immerse myself in the peaceful harmony of bungee jumping. Hmm, ah, so zen. Much boing. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... No. It See. seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. I wouldn't happen to have a replicator for that in the van. <coughs> no spoilers. <laughs> Hmm, that's a photo booth. A free booth. photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Beautiful. Re J Cla Cashier. I don't even know which one is my favorite. Arena. Arena cashier. France. French cashier. Dentist. A dentist cashier. Oh my god. <laughs> the irony in this. Oh, I love it. I love it. Because going to the dentist costs a lot of money, but if you're losing mm -hmm. your tooth, put one under your pillow and you get some back. Yep. I'm doing it. Dentist cashier it is. Nah, 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 nah. Nah? Nah. That's not how that works. It looks great. You have to do ballerina. The ballerina. <laughs> should, should I keep going? None. No, I don't know. Clown. You're probably mm -hmm. mine. It says free photos. Can, can I like get something back here? Cheese. The cheese is a lie. It's a cheesecake? Haha. <laughs> Are you happy with your job as oh, a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Although, I'd ah, rather la, be enjoying la. the quiet safety of skydiving. Sky <laughs> as long as it doesn't get me in touch the with the quiet without safety. Have your admission standards changed at all? I'm sorry, sir. You still need a cashier ID card to use the service entrance. Oh, I probably have to keep going until it's ID or something. One. No. No? No. You know what you need? You need a wonderful invention. Yeah, oh, I was so I was right about that the first time. Well, uh, now I've got half this. Right. Half right. Now I've got this souvenir photo. Put it up on my fridge. There's a fridge in here, isn't there? Not so much. The piece just falling off. Oh, what is that thing on the right hand side that says name this and is job? A cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. 
and then only <laughs> when we're on a cake. Yeah. Right. Photo. Oh, you good? Yeah. Okay. Photo. It's a photo of me dressed as a cat. The dentist cashier. With the photo in place, <laughs> I can now make a new ID card. Bam. Perfect. Ask. Jockey. Helic. <laughs> Cashier. Roscoe. Let's see what names we got. Roscoe. Nancy. 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 Muriel. Muriel! Carter. Yeah, I think Muriel is what we're gonna Muriel. do. Muriel. Just uh. Muriel! Because it fits so well. Also, it's another throwback Thursday because Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah. Muriel! Good time, Professor man. Quack's machine works perfectly. My Seen identification first. card is complete. Beep. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Good job, sis. You made a fake ID. Yay, my first fake ID! So, you know how I didn't sleep at all last night? Yeah. I had to go to bed. Like now? Mm. Well, it can't be too late. I don't know why you're not just going into the front door of the fair. The service entrance just this once. No, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I have to insist that you show me your cashier ID card. Like, there's, there's a normal entrance that you're completely bypassing just to the right of yourself. I don't know why you're skipping it. Look at Spy Fox looking at you like. <laughs> Here you are, sir. One cashier ID card. Oh my. I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? <laughs> Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. Oh, yes, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Muriel. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Have a spectacular <laughs> day. Muriel. And if I don't see you tomorrow. <gasps> Muriel. You're real. Chugga 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 chugga. Woof woof. <laughs> what? Hi <laughs> <laughs> Q. It's a bug version of Hi Q. My, that's quite an oven. Mind if I give it a try? Only chefs can use the kitchen equipment. In that outfit, you could possibly be a waiter, but definitely not a chef. I'm sorry, but those are the rules. <laughs> ah, oh, look at that guy. Roach. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of smelling. So Spycore has sent the famous spy fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating my detail. Auntie. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instruction. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. You silly spy. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly the advanced people? clockwork mechanism <laughs> within the, the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! Sounds legit. <laughs> what? That is exactly what's gonna happen to it, I no, swear. No, my dollhouse! 
release the dog bot. All the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly that you will never find it. It's what, probably going to be a switch that's off? labeled off. <laughs> Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the. Oh diabolical look! It's the switch labeled off. <laughs> located in the evil dogbot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dogbot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me. <laughs> Thank you for the play-by-play, -play, oh, including you pictures. Me? You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! <laughs> of his little pointy finger stick. This is so weird. Judging by those monstrous also metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. The graphics. I mean, like... It's like the pixels are built into it, and it's already sketched. So I can stop that evil roach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. Okay. We have to call it a night. I need to go to bed. I have to work tomorrow. Yeah. It's Nine o'clock here. Yeah, no, that's why I have my thing over here to try and get the. Watch. The watch. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, no, we have to do one more thing. Huh. Really? <laughs> I thought you were gonna put Odin Knight. I was like, what? Oh no, it's just being thinky. Like glitchy and stuff. Alright, hit the back arrow. And go back to the watch. If it'll let me. There we go. You just drop it down. Hit the fun button. Okay. Fun. Things Ooh, from space. Things from space. My favorite game. Game inside a game. Go. Am I supposed to actually be hitting all of these guys, or does it matter? Oh yeah! Oh, it just clicked out. <laughs> I exploded. This is what I get for having a window. Wait, so do I have to kill all of them? No. Okay. You just get more bonuses and more, a higher score. Oh. oh, and at first it wasn't letting me, like, multi-click. You want those. You want those. I kinda like the other one. The red one's not my favorite. back for me why are you avoiding the bonus oh. I thought it was a new weapon and I was like I don't want it Good job. you didn't die on level one 
That's the whole game? Yeah, he just keeps going. Okay. I don't know if there's like a boss mode. No. <laughs> I mean, it does progressively get harder, but no, there's no boss mode. Okay. Alright, well thank you guys for joining us. That was um, a, a very interesting introduction to this game. We'll play more of it next time on the Vulcan Reapers. Live long and prosper, nerds. It's okay, diff everything. Uh, I'm ready for bed.